Hey everybody, welcome to Ready, Set, Drone. Today I have the Esheen FPV, tiny FPV quadcopter ready to fly. We're gonna check it out and see how it does, so stay tuned. First of all, this is a tiny uh, FPV quadcopter. It comes with a remote control um, that is already bound to it theoretically. So it should be pretty straightforward to get it up in the air and uh, start flying some FPV. It does not come with goggles. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have some uh, 5.8 gigahertz goggles if you wanna fly this FPV. Um, here's the instructions right here. Um, it comes with two batteries. Now these are the same batteries. Uh, they're little uh, 1S, um, 600 milliamp hour batteries uh, with these and I think they're called uh, Loki connectors here, the little white ones. Um, I need to double check that. Uh, but these are the same things you put on um, a SEMA X5C and lots of other quads. So these are really standard batteries, which is fantastic because that means that you can get up in the air and you don't have to buy a special battery for it. Comes with a charger, USB charger. Comes with a little kit that has uh, two extra motors, has um, some extra props, some extra cables, and then it has the two little um, the two little bits that go on the end of the remote control or on the end of the transmitter sticks. These guys right here. And so I'm gonna take these out. Leave the, I don't think I need the rest of this stuff in here. Set this aside. Comes with some 3M sticky tape and Velcro, which I'm sure is for the batteries. Uh, here's the remote. And here's the actual quad itself. And it's uh, kind of in this foam thing pretty tight, so it takes a little bit of doing to get it out. So there's that guy. Set this over on the side. I'm going to go and thread these two guys in over here. Now it does look like you can plug it into clean flight, so there must be a, um, a little uh, USB port somewhere on it that plugs into clean flight. Oh, yep, there it is in the back. Allows you to uh, plug it into clean flight and uh, fly it that way. So I believe this is a FlySky radio. It looks a lot like it. It's branded as the Esheen i6, but um, it looks like a FlySky uh, radio. So, you know, just in going through the directions here, I'm gonna tell you this is not a beginner's quad by any means. Um, they go through quite a bit of detail on how to set up in clean flight uh, and configure and bind and all things that, um, if you've been doing this for a while and you're comfortable with it, not, it's not anything you couldn't handle. It's just not uh, stuff that if you're, it's your first quad or you're wanting to just get into flying FPV, might not be the first thing you wanna try in terms of a quad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm just gonna disconnect this, this light strip here. I don't know, it's soldered in, so. Um, so where does this thing go? Okay, after a little bit of experimentation, not too much, but just a little bit, I figured out that the uh, battery goes on the bottom and I just used the Velcro to attach it. And then I used this rubber band that was already on it to uh, just kind of give it a little extra connection. And then the LEDs actually have two little, um, two little uh, sticky parts on them. And I used those sticky parts to stick to these two rods, uh, these upward posts here in the back. So it's, uh, this is how it's sitting, it seems to make sense because the, the sticky parts were just in line with these two posts right here. And then uh, I went ahead and um, turned it on and uh, turned on the radio and I figured out that this uh, upper left switch is the arm switch. So when this is down, it's arm. And when it's up, it's not. Um, I just figured out that it's this uh, blade is hitting the transmission antenna on the camera, so I'm gonna have to make sure that's not in the way. Huh. That is definitely a problem. You can see here, this is uh, just barely going under it. Let's see now, if I switch this down. Okay, now it's clear. Uh, this antenna here is really uh, close to the um, close to those blades. It seems like this antenna should be just a little bit longer to go up a little bit more. All right, so then the last thing I'm gonna do, I've got my Omway goggles here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug those in and see if I can see an FPV signal, and then I'm gonna try flying it. 
So, uh, if you haven't seen my video about these Amway goggles, you should really check it out. These are pretty awesome. I've been using them instead of Fat Sharks lately, and I've been really happy with the results. Um, they're, they've just got uh, really good reception. Uh, they're comfortable. Um, they're just, they're just, uh, Fat sharks are nice, don't get me wrong, but these these are uh, just as nice, and I seem to get a clearer signal on them. Uh, the one thing I don't like about these Amways is the way you have to put the battery on them, because uh, it's just kind of weird. It's supposed to go in the back, but the cable's not long enough. This is actually a fat shark battery. So, let me see if I've got a video signal. Hey, what do you know? There it is. Um, well, trust me, there's a video signal in there. I'm going to see if I can record on my micro SD card. Looks like I'm recording. The record light is blinking. So let's uh, fly these around the office and see how they do. Got rem my remote here. I think I'm in all the simplest, easiest uh, angle modes and such. So hope hopefully that's true. All right, here we go. And I'm assuming I hit the microphone or something. Oh no, a prop flew off. So I'm just going to take one of the spare props and put it on and hope this one stays on. Wow. Okay, that seems to be on there really good. Again, this, this antenna right here, this is just a terrible design. That, that is just right, right in the way of where these uh, props go really makes no sense at all. I wonder if that's what happened if it hit the antenna and just flew off. All right, let me try line of sight and see if this is any better. Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, pretty stable. And responsive. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to try flying an FPV then. See how it does. There's no prop guards on this guy, so, uh, you got to be able to fly it decently without that. But, you know... So far, so good. I really like the way it flies. Um, it is super smooth, very stable. The transmission is really strong. I'm all the way across my office and I've flown other FPVs in here and started losing it by this point. But uh, this one is, this one is holding a nice signal for this distance. You can tell I'm craning my neck because I don't want to hit myself. Flying around the studio. Over the cameras, back through the door. I'm gonna go kind of fast down the hall. Around the tables. Yeah. 
does not take much. It's got a very light touch to it. Relax myself a little bit. time around me. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick wrap up on this guy. Um, I can tell you that it is a blast to fly. Uh, it is very stable. Um, and my biggest issue with it, again, is this um, silly design where they've got this antenna just barely clearing the, um, clearing the, the motors or the propellers here. That doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, that antenna should be in the middle or it should be up higher. I'm gonna see if there's some way I can take this off and solder it to where it's a little bit higher or I don't know, I don't know what else you would do with it. I like this thing, the LEDs are super bright. Uh, it can be programmed in clean flight. It's very stable, fun to fly, it comes with two spare motors. So if you burn out a motor, you can replace it pretty easily based on all of this. Comes with a, a, a FlySky radio, which works great. I'll bet it has different rates. Um, all of those things are fantastic. I really didn't think I was going to like this as much, but uh, this little thing with the uh, with the propellers, man, it just it just doesn't make any sense why they wouldn't put more tolerance there. So aside from that, great little product. Um, I guess if you can always make sure that it, you have clearance and that you're not going to have any issues, it flies fine. You just saw me fly it for a good um, uh, I don't know ten minutes around the office, and it did really well. But uh, yeah, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can get the Esheen um, Ready to Fly FPV Racer, and you can definitely check it out. If you're into building or modding these things, might, this might be a good starting point too, where because it's already pretty much built, but you know it's all open and there's a lot you could do with this. So thanks for watching, um, Esheen. If you watch this, please uh, figure out something better to do with the the transmission antenna, um, so we don't have the issue that I had. But other than that, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and stay tuned and watch more of Ready, Set, Drone. We'll see you next time.